Hey guys, this is Barbos of Barbos Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Today is going to be an addition to my shotcut tutorial series. Today we're going to learn how to fade in and fade out text. So you're gonna, we're going to learn how to have that smooth transition of some text flowing into your video or picture. I'm using a picture today. It's literally the same exact step for video. Let's get started. So obviously you need to select a picture or a video. I have this picture, it's just my logo selected. So obviously once this load, once your picture or video is loaded, you're gonna wanna drag it down into your timeline. That's a big timeline there. There we go. Alrighty, now, obviously if it's a picture, you're gonna have to adjust how long you want that picture to show up for. So I'm gonna adjust it and I'm gonna have it be there for uh, 15 seconds. Once you do that, you're gonna need to pick a starting point of where you want the text to fade in. So we're just, on this picture, we're just gonna click on a random spot. So be sure you have your clip selected and you're, you can use the shortcut key S to split at the playhead. And then you're gonna want an end point. So we're gonna come down, uh, we'll come down about here and we'll split again. You can hit the S key to split again. And you're gonna wanna be sure that your piece here is selected and then once you do that, we're going to go to the menu here and we're gonna add a video track. Once you add a video track, very simple. You're gonna select this and you're gonna control C to copy, control V to paste. Now, if you happen to get this mess right here, we'll try to back it up and we'll try this again. I don't know why it does that but we will control C, control V. Okay, all right, so it's gonna do its own little thing here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we do have our two identical pieces right here, so we'll work with that. What you're gonna wanna do is on your V2 timeline, you're going to take one of those chunks and you're gonna drag it up above the other one. And then to get rid of this, you just simply right click and remove. Now once you have this here, it's a, a very important to remember on your timelines when you're stacking tracks like this, whichever top, whatever track is on top on your timeline, that's what's going to display on top. So if you have text in there or it, just anything that you have displayed on top pictures, it's going to show above what is on the bottom timeline or the bottom track. So all we're going to do now is we're going to select the top track and we're simply going to add a filter and this is going to be our text filter. And then you can rename it by the text field here. It's just got a time code going to show you what part of the clip it's in. I'm going to rename it just a sample text. And then to resize your text, just a real quick way to resize your text, you can use any of the handles here. Just click and drag. And then use your middle handle here to move it around. I'm just gonna place it about right there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add another filter. And we're going to add the fade in video filter. And then we're gonna go in and add the fade out video filter. Now this will place these shadows down here, these angled shadows. That is your fade in and your fade out. So as of right now, we'll go ahead and test how it looks. Right now the whole picture disappears, then it pops up and there's your text and then it just, the whole thing, it just doesn't look exactly right. So here's how we're gonna remedy that. Alrighty, so if you want to, if you need to adjust how long the fade in and fade out takes, you can simply click on these, on the circles here and just drag them back to wherever you want. I'll drag them back to about 30. And then same thing here, drag them back to about 30, that way it's even. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up here to your filters that you have applied, and you're going to click on Fade In Video, and you're gonna drop down here and you're gonna check Adjust Opacity inside of Fade With Black, or instead of Fade With Black. So you're gonna be sure that's checked and then you're gonna drop down here to fade out video and it's unchecked so you wanna be sure that you check it. After that, here's your finished product. You get the text to fade in and fade out without interfering with the picture at all like you saw before. 
So that is obviously that's the, the most important step of all this. Once you get your filters added in and your text, you want to be sure that this is checked right here. So we'll knock out one more just to show you again real quick. So be sure that you, you, have, you have a start point and an end point. We're just going to use this right here since it was already kind of half created for us. You're going to simply copy, paste, drag it up above the other one. That way it's even. And you're going to want to get rid of that extra space. So right click and remove. Once you have it stacked here, you're going to add your text. Rename it to whatever you want. Resize it by using these drag handles. Move it by using the middle drag handle. And then you're simply going to fade in video and fade out video. Adjust these to whatever you want. Adjust them to 30. And then go back and click on each filter. And like I said, this is the most important part. Be sure you check adjust opacity instead of fade with black. And same thing, adjust opacity instead of fade with black, and you are good to go. Here's your final product. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You are good to go. If you have any questions about this video, please do not hesitate to drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to click that like button. If you enjoy the content of my channel, please do not forget to click that subscribe button and if you wish to be notified when any future content drops click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button until next time guys this is barbos of barbos gaming y'all have an excellent day